Hello everyone, Hyper here, and today's video will be about two of the bosses that we tested on the PTR this previous week, the Eye of the Jailer and Kel'Thuzad. So Eye of the Jailer is going to be a very early boss, potentially the second in the raid, and Kel'Thuzad will be the second to last boss of the raid in a Sanctum of Domination. And I mostly want to talk about Kel'Thuzad or KT because this fight looks absolutely incredible from testing and it has so much potential for Mythic and onwards. So the premise of the entire fight is that you have to fight Kel'Thuzad four times. Each time you get him from 100 to 0, um, and when he hits 0%, he triggers an intermission phase, then after the intermission heals back to full and you gotta do it again. And I know what, you, what you're thinking, oh, no more intermission phases, please god, get rid of intermission phases, they're so boring. This fight's intermissions are a little different in that they actually contribute to something and they're in the player's control of how fast or how slow you want to do these intermissions. So the upstairs phase or the Kel'Thuzad phases are fairly straightforward, but they do become increasingly difficult each time you go through an intermission. So basic mechanics, he spawns um, these glacial fragments or glacial spikes. Um, you start off with only a few spawning. Uh, in the first phase, it's two, and then each phase that increases by one. But essentially, they're a mob that you can kill if you want. But when you kill them, they explode. So you have to kind of control how you're killing them. Either, you know, do multiple at the exact same time with cooldowns, or you gotta stagger them. Um, so it's a mechanic that's very much in the hands of the players on how you want to deal with it. There are multiple options and multiple ways of dealing with one specific mechanic. Um, then the tank mechanic spawns ads around the room um, that are casting and need to be interrupted, so fairly straightforward. Also, there's going to be ads that spawn out of these debuffs players get. You run out, you drop off your debuff, and an ad spawns that will fixate players and then start casting a spell that is going to detonate and make them explode when it finishes. So you have to like kind of control these and kill them at the same time. Um, and again, it becomes increasingly difficult as you go through the phases because the number of mechanics increases. You get more glacial fragments, you get more adds. Um, so the later on you go into this fight, the more hectic it becomes. Then the intermission phases are a split. So when the intermission phase starts, when Kel'Thuzad reaches 0% health, you essentially split your raid up. There's going to be a down phase. Um, where you enter this portal and there's going to be a mob there called the Remnant of Kel'Thuzad that you essentially have to kill. And the reason why it takes three intermission phases to kill him is because you can only do 33% of his health at a time. So the first intermission phase you will get him down to 66, second one to 33, and then the third intermission phase you kill him, which then triggers the last Kel'Thuzad phase where you end up killing the boss. And that phase itself also becomes more difficult. So the very first one, you're going to see the mob cast some frontals, a few pools are going to spawn, you have to move around um, while dealing damage to it. And then the second time, you will see that there's going to be a lot more pools. And the third time, you're going to see that there's tornadoes, pools, frontals, an absolute mess of mechanics that you got to deal with while also making a DPS check on this ad. So straight up, it is a ranged, unfriendly place to be. Um, just because of how much movement there is. Even as a melee DPS, a lot of times you just can't stand in melee because there's so much going on. Uh, but it's an absolutely fun and like exciting intermission phase, uh, which we rarely see. Now, while your group that's assigned to deal with the Remnant is doing this, the rest of the raid remains in the upstairs Kel'Thuzad room where he will spawn different adds. Now, if you did KT originally, very similar thing. He will spawn different types of ads that you have to deal with um, before the intermission phase ends. So the upstairs is going to be dealing with abominations, soul reavers, and devoted ads. So the abominations are the ones that absolutely annihilate your tanks. The soul reavers are casters that you have to interrupt and keep in check, um, or they end up killing your raid. And then the devoted are the same ads that you deal with throughout the regular phases. Uh, who just fixate people then explode when they reach them. There's kind of like a balance that you have to strike between how many people are you sending downstairs to deal with the remnant, how many people are staying upstairs to deal with um, all these ads that are spawning in order to kind of finish the intermission phases at the same time because as soon as you finish the intermission, the boss heals back to full and you start again. 
A big reason why I'm really looking forward to this fight is because everything is in the hands of the players. Um, how you want to deal with the glacial spikes, um, because they spawn on players, you have control on where you place them. Um, same thing with, a, there's a rate soak mechanic that splits damage between everyone that's hit. But again, there's a bunch of different ways of dealing with that. Do you want people to use immunities? Do you want to put the whole raid in there and just use healing cooldowns? Um, everything on this fight, from what we've seen, is in the hands of the players on how you want to deal with it. Um, they, they're not tunneling you into a single way of killing this boss. Um, with time, I assume, a meta for how you want to deal with it and what the best strategy is will probably develop. But from testing, at least, there were many different avenues that you could take to reach the same result. And on a boss fight, especially on a second to last boss that, you know, you're probably going to have to do quite a few pulls on, it's important that you have that instead of just a monotonous, um, you know, pull the boss and this is, you know, you get a debuff, you run out, you get a debuff, you run out, or something very straightforward. This leaves room for interpretation on how you want to do the encounter. So that's Kel'Thuzad, really looking forward to this one. Um, then the second fight that we tested was the Eye of the Jailer. This one is a little bit more straightforward. Um, it's only the second boss in the raid, maybe third boss. It's listed second in the dungeon journal. The premise of this encounter is that you're on a huge platform um, and there's an eye in the middle that you have to kill. So this encounter has three intermission phases. Um, I believe at 75%, 50%, 25%, um, I think those are the three marks. But anyway, so the fight itself is super straightforward. There's an eye in the middle, you're DPSing it. Sometimes adds spawn off to the side. The adds are going to cast a chain uh, spell on a random player. And essentially you have to stack enough people in there that the ad can't pull those people to it instead the ad gets pulled to the people so you're essentially just stacking a bunch of players until you can yoink the ads to yourself and then kill the ad dps the boss the one very cool mechanic about this fight is an absolutely massive frontal uh, so the platform is kind of in a u shape um, and the eye will start sweeping with the frontal from one side and sweep all the way to the other side so you will eventually get hit um, unless you can make it over to the other side of this U-shaped platform. And on each of the tips of the platform, there are little chains uh, that you can use to essentially grapple over to the other side, and that is how you dodge the mechanic. Um, that is, unless you're a mage or any other class that has a blink ability. But if you don't, then you have to use the chains. So that was the one kind of cool part about this fight. Um, the intermission phases were fairly boring, um, two smaller eyes spawn and you have to kill them at the same time. And that was pretty much it. Um, and then once you get to the last phase of the fight, then you have to kill the boss before this healing reduction debuff stacks up high enough on you that you're just not going to be able to heal anymore. Um, so the last phase is kind of a pseudo enrage where you want to bloodlust and just burn the boss. Overall, it is a... It's an okay boss. I found it a little bit boring. There were a few mechanics. So you have there's a debuff that hits a player and anyone around him. So you have to spread out with that. There are other mechanics such as one that marks random players, fragments their souls, and you you get slowed and you have to pick up your three soul fragments before um, your timer runs out. And then the third mechanic was just like some circles on the ground that you had to dodge. So overall, not super complex, but it should be a fun little fight for early on in the raid. Thank you so much for watching this video. And in the next one, I will be going over the next three bosses that we tested um, on the PTR. And one of them is super exciting because we haven't seen a cool puzzle boss in quite a while. Um, so I'm looking forward to that one. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.